In today's video, we're gonna cover one underlying reason someone might not get started with you. There are two reasons that can come up primarily for people that they might not say right away that you'll have to dig a little bit deeper on, but today's conversation is gonna be based around lack of certainty. The other one can be the spousal objection. People have that, it takes a little bit to mine to get to that objection, but we're really gonna focus on the first one creating certainty for people so that lack of certainty doesn't show up. So how can a lack of certainty show up? It can show up in a lack of certainty that they might express in your workout, your facility or feel of your facility, or in you, their lack of certainty in what you're recommending. All three of these come down to a confidence that they have that we want to build in them throughout their entire process and not have to scramble to do it at the end of the exchange. So how do we do that? When someone says, I'm not sure if this type of workout works for me, how do we overcome that? There's two ways. The first is having a solid intake process, but the other is at the end of that workout, getting them to agree that the workout they just experienced can get them to the goals that they expressed to you in the beginning. So being able to say something as simple as, hey, what did you like about the workout? I love hearing that. Hey, can you see yourself getting to that 10 pound weight loss goal here with us? Great, let me show you how easy it is to become a member. Asking that simple question gets that potential member now agreeing that your workout is not going to be what keeps them from getting to their goal. It's going to be some type of uncertainty in whether or not they're gonna show up for it because we got them to say, yes, the workout will get me to my goal. The next piece of uncertainty comes from Am I clear that I trust you as my salesperson? A couple of key pieces with this is you are a fitness professional. It doesn't matter how long you've been selling memberships, you have to come from a confident place that the recommendation you're going to make for this person is the right fit for them. So you've got to do one of two things. Either have a pricing sheet in place that easily makes that decision for someone with what we call a decoy effect, if you're not familiar with that, we have another video that features this principle. Or having a recommendation based on the hours per week they've already committed in an intake process to go ahead and dedicate to the workout routine. If you're able to make an effective recommendation or the decoy pricing leads somebody to making a choice that seems to just make sense on paper, you put yourself in a position where you're not having to talk them into a membership and they trust your recommendation or they trust what you're presenting to them is your best offer. And that's what you want. You want that trust to be there. When you build rapport with someone in the beginning, having a few of those just relationship building questions as a part of that process is key. And it lets people open up a little bit more and begin to tell you their real why for coming in. So being able to build the rapport and then also having a very clear recommendation or a decoy pricing effect will allow there to be no doubt that that potential member can trust you. The next cause for uncertainty is that this member might not believe that this style of workout or the facility is the right fit for them. So how do we overcome that? The client intake process. If you don't have an intake process in play currently in your facility, I highly recommend that this is the first piece that you get into action on now. If you want more information on developing an effective client intake form customized for your facility, feel free to click the link below and get access to our performance team that can help you create that intake form for your location. Now, that client intake process, when it comes to establishing whether or not this workout is going to be the right fit or the facility is the right fit, where you would address that is in understanding what they've done in the past for their workouts. Now, in most client intake forms or processes, you're gonna see that show up in when was the last time you worked out? Or have you been a member with us before? Or what was the last place you had a membership? And you can at that time dig into, hey, what did you like most about that membership? What did you like most about about that location. And if you could change one or two things about it and it could be the right fit for you, what would that be? If you can add on some of those additional follow-up questions to your intake form, you'll be able to determine, okay, great, they liked these things and we have it. So this could be a good culture fit. And they didn't like this and we've got the solve to that. So what you're preparing yourself to do is to be able to overcome the objection that this might not be a good fit for me as you get them connected to your studio. 
So where do I use that? I use that information in the tour. And I say, you mentioned you really loved this about your last location. I'd love to show you that we offer that here. And then I heard you say that that last location didn't have this for you. And here's what we offer to cover that. So you're using this client intake form to go ahead and get them introduced to the studio and the features and benefits that are gonna be most valuable to them. The next uncertainty comes from whether or not someone feels they're physically and mentally strong enough and ready to jump in and do this type of a workout. This comes from also having a really solid way that you hand off that potential member to the coach or trainer who's gonna take them through the next hour of their class. Think of it this way. They're gonna spend maybe 15 minutes with your sales or frontline person. They're gonna spend almost a full hour with a coach. That coach needs to be the person that they truly trust. Because when somebody says, I'm not sure I can do this, I'm not sure I'm physically ready, or I wanna get in shape before I start this workout, it's because at some point in their experience in class, they didn't feel they were being given the right adjustments and options to be successful. So. When you hand that guest over to the person who's gonna conduct the class, make sure that you build value and equity in them. This is one of our best trainers. This is one of our best coaches. And then express to that trainer anything you've learned about that person's background or limitations so that that coach and trainer can be keeping a watchful eye on that person while they're in class. And we wanna make sure our coaches are going in and helping them make adjustments they need to so that they feel successful no matter where they're at in their fitness journey when they come out of that class. This is key. Your coach owns that experience and at the end of the workout, you're gonna highlight the fact that the coach was really proud of them or they accomplished so much in this workout and we're really excited to see what they're able to do with us in the future. We don't want this person to feel like they have to be at this level to start in your facility. They can start anywhere and be successful. So we just covered all of the ways that a lack of certainty can show up in our interaction and how we can solve for that. At the end of all of it, it comes down to having a solid intake process, building trust with someone, and really making sure we connect back to their why when we make that price presentation recommendation. Now, if you want more information on the second underlying reason of the spousal objection and support on how to handle and overcome that, feel free to click the link below and get connected to us on the performance team to help you develop those skills. And if you liked this video and found it helpful, go ahead and like and subscribe so that you can get access to more content just like this.